Hello, and thank you for selecting this virtual lecture. Today, I will be breaking down the three models of communication, the linear model, the interactive model, and the transactional model. Let's get started. Before I explain how the communication models work, it is important for us to have a basic understanding of what communication is. Communication can be defined as the sending and receiving of messages to create shared meaning. The linear model was scholars' first attempt at explaining how this process works. It states, when communicating, a source will encode a message or take an idea and give it meaning through words and send it to a receiver through a channel or the medium through which a message is delivered, such as a phone, computer, handwritten note, or even face-to-face. -face. Once the message is sent, it is up to the receiver to decode or draw meaning from the message. It also recognizes that both physical and psychological noise play a large role in how we both encode and decode messages. While the linear model was an excellent start, scholars believed that this model was missing some very key elements. So they created the interactive model of communication. Just like the linear model, the interactive model states that during communication, there is a source encoding a message, sending it through a channel, and a receiver that decodes the information. However, it also states, as the receiver is being sent a message, the receiver is also sending feedback to the source through their verbal and nonverbal responses to the message. Additionally, the interactive model recognizes that communication can be influenced by the environment or the context in which communication is taking place. For a while, scholars were satisfied with the interactive model and its approach to how human communication functions, but they still felt as though something was missing. They sat down once again and created the transactional model of communication, which states, that while all of the elements of the interactive model are true, there was one element that was absent. The fact that when communicating in the real world, each individual takes turns being both the source and the receiver. And sometimes we are both source and receiver simultaneously. In this video, we took a look at the three models of communication, the linear model, the interactive model, and the transactional model. I hope this helped you to better understand how human communication works. Thank you again for selecting this virtual lecture.